Hey everyone, April is done. Good riddance to April. Not a great month for myself, uh, but let's do a recap of what happened in April. Uh, quick risk disclosure. Uh, we are not financial advisors. Investing options trading does involve risk. Please pause the video and read the full disclosure. Uh, so before we jump into mine, uh, first Chad's results. Chad had a really good month uh, on his Mighty 90 and Runners. Uh, these are trades he's called out in the live stream. Uh, Mighty 90s, a little over 4,600. Uh, the two runner strategies, a little bit red, but overall 22 winners, 10 losers, 69% win rate, a little over 4,000 in profits. Uh, but his uh, zero DTE was the real profit puppy. Uh, a he breaks them down by AM, Iron Condor, Lunchtime, and Power Hour. Did a little over 26K on the AMs. 13 on the lunch times and a little over 9,400 on power hour for a total of 49,355 with a 65% win rate on 50, uh, on 83 trades. So nice, nice results from Chad. Uh, okay. So let's go over my stuff and we'll break it down by account and then I'll jump into it by strategy. So my Tradier standard margin account, this is primarily back test driven calendars and then Sometimes if I'm, I don't have strikes available in one of my other accounts, I'll do that in this account too. So there's some other just kind of random other trades, including kind of end of day Magic Mahomes and some other stuff that we'll talk about. But uh, the, count, the account up uh, this month, plus 9.72, had a max drawdown throughout the month of 9.16. So it, it actually, I actually had a, uh, a much bigger profit earlier in the month and then gave some back the last couple of weeks here, uh, but still ended up positive. So there's my year to date P and L curve in the green after spending some time in the red for the first few months of the year. Uh, and here's the monthly breakdown by performance. You can see January, February, red, March and April have been green in this account. My uh, toss standard margin account. So this is my, uh, compounding challenge portfolio. So this is the only thing that I do in this account are RICs, one DTE, and then my zero DTE re-entries all using bots for this account. Uh, so last month was really good. This month, uh, it's going through a drawdown, but nothing really crazy or out of the ordinary. No, you know, no real mistakes. I've, I'm trading some of these exact same strategies in my other account and they were positive. And in this one, they happen to be negative uh, and it can be just a little bit of a slight difference in timing of entry and, and, uh, and how the, how the trades ended up getting managed. So, um, not too worried about it. It's just, you know, I think it'll even out over time, but this month is, is certainly a drawdown and the, and the drawdown is certainly within the, the scope of the allocation percentages that I have. So unfortunately just a red month. Uh, so minus 21.6 had a max drawdown of uh, almost 30, 29.73. So here is the P&L curve. You know, in this account in general, I, I just started the challenge portfolio in March, so that had been right here. But um, in general, I mean, this account's been having very little drawdowns, continue to hit new high P&Ls until about after the first week of this month, and that's when the, the, uh, the drawdown in this account started. But again, it's still up almost 50% on the year and the drawdown. This is a, this is a very aggressive allocation. Um, and so, you know, this kind of drawdown has to be expected. So, uh, it just kind of is what it is. And here's my monthly performance in this account, January positive, February, really nice, March, really good. And then this month, uh, the drawdown. Uh, in my toss portfolio margin account, the strategies I trade in this, uh, quite a few different ones, primarily zero DTE, option selling strategies and hedgehogs, short premium, and then also my portfolio margin strategies. So uh, the return on the account this month, minus 11.46, max drawdown minus 28. Uh, and, and I talked about this on one of my weekly updates uh, you know, I had a big, just, I had a big loss that was just really a gamble trade. And that was a big part of, of this drawdown here. So, 
Uh, so this account has been on a little bit of a roller coaster, mostly in the red this year, um, as you can see. And so one thing I've done, you know, starting in May of, is I've just kind of gotten back to basics. You know, I think I was, I was trading, I was over trading. I was trading too much. I was, you know, I talked about getting a little too loose with, with rules on some discretionary trades. And so I've, I've really just kind of refocused. So, uh, hopefully next month we'll get back in the green on this account and we'll kind of get it on the right track, but it's been a kind of a roller coaster in this account this year. And then here's the performance breakdown by month, just, you know, small down, small down, small up, and then big down or not, not crazy. I mean, it's, you know, minus 12% on the month, but, uh, so that's that account. And then lastly, my trade of aid account, which is my futures account. So this is primarily MOC and directional futures. I've kind of put a pause on this stuff. I mean, I've, I've traded, you know, a few days since, since I had, you know, I took a loss on this one, but I pulled a bunch of money out of this account and it, I'm really going to make it a very small, if any part of my trading going forward. So this is probably the last month that I report on this account. I may do a little bit of trading, but it's just, it's such an irrelevant part that it, it's probably not something that I'll, you know, I, I'm not, and it's definitely not going to be considered a part of my core trading. So I don't know. I'll, I'll decide if it, if it does become a, you know, if I, if I'm trading at a decent amount, I'll, I'll certainly report, but if it's just kind of something I'm doing very small on the side, it's just not really worth even mentioning. So, uh, I'll, I'll make that decision, but you know, I may, I may just not even report on this, but, uh, uh, minus 27% on the month, max drawdown minus 37. Uh, so I, you know, this is the account that I ran up pretty, pretty quickly at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's still green on the year, but it's, again, I just, I kind of pulled the money out to take that, take it away from myself <laughs> as far as a, uh, uh, a, really a, a core piece of my trading just because, um, I didn't, I didn't like where I was going with it and I needed to kind of reset. So like I said, I may, I might bring it back. I haven't decided, but for now I'm just going to, I have a little bit of money in the account and I'm allowing myself to do, you know, some micro futures and things like that. Uh, but again, it pretty insignificant. So we'll see, we'll see how I, uh, treat this in the future. So here's the breakdown by month. Obviously, a big January, small down February, small up March, and then, you know, down this month. All right, so trade results by strategy. Let's go through these. So let's start with zero DTE, uh, and we'll break these down. So the first will be uh, my AM trades. So red on AM trades, about minus 6,400 on those. Uh, my challenge portfolio... So, well, let's break these down one by one. So one DTEs did well, plus 8,000. My uh, one-to-one -one re entries were pretty flat, and this is just in the challenge portfolio. Uh, where I really got hit in the challenge portfolio is on my three twos. Uh, minus 40, a little over almost 41,000 down on the, on the three twos for the month. Uh, my power hours did good. Just doing my update power hour, plus 8,800 on those. Uh, and then Rick's, uh, we're a little bit red. Yeah. Minus 3,400 on my, uh, reverse iron condors, uh, end of day. Okay. So that's it for the challenge portfolio on the end of day, uh, magic Mahomes trades plus 2475 had uh one, two, six trades on that, uh, that, you know, when we get a lot of movement that that doesn't necessarily set up. So I've been a little bit selective on entering those, uh, no FOMC in April. We had a couple, tr we had our FOMC trades in May. So that'll go on next month. Uh, my rut one DTE hedge positive refresh. Make sure that's right. Yeah. Plus 1,777 on 15 trades. So I'm going to continue doing that. It's a good, uh, kind of a, hedge against against bigger moves when I'm selling zero DTE premium uh, JSPs yeah so this is the one where I had the the big oof uh, where I just kind of went off the rails that was 
that gamble trade I was talking about that I mentioned in the weekly video. So, uh, you know, the month would have still been red, but that, but just by a little bit, uh, and that really, you know, put me into the red for the month. Uh, NDX, uh, red on these, about 6,200. And then power hour. So these are my power hour trades outside of my challenge portfolio. And so a little bit green, plus 2,400. My PM, my afternoon trades uh, did really well. Click off these power hours. So my PM trades did a little over 17,000. So those were solid. Uh, my price action was a little bit red for the month as well. And these are just kind of trades that I'm sprinkling in when I'm looking for uh, pockets of consolidation, but I'm just kind of sprinkling them in around my other strategies, but a little bit red on those. Uh, the quad 41 DTE that I've started trading really small and testing is green. I actually should not have taken that one. FOMC was the next day and I had it as a blackout, but I ended up accidentally, the bot took it and I just, I just left it. But, um, so that shouldn't even have been a trade there. So that would have, that would have uh, erased one of those losses. Uh, and my quiet midday tranches really well, all winners, uh, plus 10,640 on those. And then my re-entries outside of my challenge portfolio, uh, pretty flat down a little bit on my one of ones. And then remember in my challenge portfolio, I lost 40 on my three twos. And in this account, minus 1400. So, so a lot, a lot flatter. So again, it was just a little bit of a difference in timing, uh, between the two, which is, uh, can create a pretty significant difference. And then my RICs outside of my challenge portfolio, a little bit red. Uh, that's a new one. I, I didn't trade in April. My O2 call calendar. Uh, a few of those, pretty much a scratch on six trades. My 1DTEs outside my challenge portfolio, green, plus 4,700. And that's it for zero DTE. Uh, dynamic butterflies. Oh, let me, that's not zero DTE. So my dynamic butterflies, uh, two wins, two losses, plus 1275. Uh, dynamic calendars were green. Plus 9,255. And that's with some, some days that we had some pretty crazy moves and I, I had to take some losses. You know, here's a $2,500 loss on a 1-3, 1100 1600 on four seven six seven. Uh, but some nice, nice wins as well. So positive on the calendars for the month, plus 9,200. And then options selling. Refresh that, make sure that's correct. So on option selling, yeah, I, I thought that was wrong. So uh, just small green, had some nice wins. This one was a little bit frustrating. This was some short premium in gold. And when gold implied volatility spiked up and we we're hitting new all time highs, uh, I, I ended up hitting my exit point. So I had to bail. Literally, if I would have held it a few more hours, literally later that day, uh, the price contracted, implied volatility contracted. It would have been a, uh, it would have been a nice winner, uh, but I got squeezed out in a, just a very, uh, you know, like I said, if I would have been in a few hours later, I'd have been fine. But you know, you got to, you don't know what's, you don't know what's on the right hand part of the screen. You got to get out when you, uh, you got to follow your rules, and that's what I did. So, uh, but unfortunately, that so that was a forty three hundred dollar loss, and then, uh, but still ended up small green on option selling some nice wins on some hedgehogs uh one on es one on nq another one on es so some nice trades there and then lastly portfolio margined portfolio margin was a little bit red as well minus 13 
got smoked out of a couple of a shark and a ratio diagonal and a time fly. So the, you know, those were, those were three of the big losses. So minus 13 K on those trades for the month. All right, my friends, that is it. Hopefully next month, month of May will be a lot better. It's already, uh, well, it's May 3rd today. So already off to a much better start with a couple of really nice green days under the belt. So hopefully that continues. Everybody have a good May and we'll update you next month. Cheers.